to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. When you get your ham radio license, one thing that becomes uh, pretty apparent early on is you're going to be looking at meters and could be SWR meters, power meters, S meters, volt meters, watt meters, meters, meters. And it's a neat device. There are a couple broad categories of meters that I'm aware of. There may be some others, <clears throat> um, digital and analog. And what I'm talking about is single sideband, which if you look at the waveform is up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And so you've got this sometimes called, um, uh, in some cases called a Christmas tree, Christmas tree pattern, but no matter what you call it, if you look at it on a scope, there are excursions that go way up and some that don't go that far and some that are very tiny. So as you talk, it's doing this. The mechanical meter that you're looking at could be a watt meter, could be a play current meter. Um, can't keep up with that. So, and I'll, I'll graphically show that in just a second. So you may have a voice peak that goes to 100, but the meter only indicates 10. And if you turn up the drive or the mic gain because you want it, the meter to indicate 100, all kinds of things start to go wrong. Uh, there's distortion products that enter into the picture, perhaps RF feedback. Um, there's a chance of splattering or causing distortion um, causing splatter that interferes with other folks on either side of you. Uh, if you don't have a scope, and most of us don't, and most of us don't want one, um, you can take a, uh, a measurement with a peak reading watt meter and compare it to uh, what the mechanical meter is showing you. And so let's do that now. Let's, I'm going to set, I've got a bunch of watt meters here, and I've got a couple of amplifiers. Let's do this. Let's transmit a carrier at some something that gives the the the, um, <clears throat> the panel meter full scale reading could be 200 watts could be could be an amp of current could be any number and then we will run the same amount of power getting whatever output that is uh, probably in the neighborhood of 200 watts and see what the mechanical meter shows and what it's going to show is a, a very small percentage of full scale and in some cases, 10%, some cases, 20%. If I were to run the mic gain up until the meter indicated a full scale, and that, was, that would cause distortion because you'd be driving the crap out of the amplifier. You'd be exceeding the grid current rating of the tube, probably tubes, tube, tubes, um, one or more. You shorten the life of the tubes if you have a tubed amplifier. Uh, and you will destroy some stuff along the way. Along the same line, I've found that in testing the K3 and the other handy transceivers that I have, that oftentimes the, the, the voice peak from the transceiver exceeds its nominal rating. So, for example, the transceiver may say it's capable of 100 watts output, you hook it up to a watt meter, and yeah, it does 100 watts out. Uh, the K3s barely do 100 watts, but occasionally, um, especially at the beginning of a transmission, it may have excursions that go way beyond that. And what we're going to see is my 100 watt transceivers occasionally put out 140 watts. So does that hurt anything? Well, it doesn't if you're just into an antenna because the antenna doesn't care. If you're into an amplifier, it hurts. And what it's going to do is the drive that you're putting into the grid is not going to be dissipated into the plate. It's going to be, uh, it's going to damage the grid of the tube eventually. And I'll show that uh, in a couple of tests. The, the watt meter is going to show way more than 100 watts out, but just for an instant. And if you look at it with one of the, if you have an SDR receiver, which makes kind of a neat scope, and you look at the transmitted signal on that SDR receiver, you're going to find uh, spikes that go beyond uh, a if you draw a line at 100 watts, you're going to have spikes that go beyond that point. Hopefully that's clear. It may not be. Um, the part about the watt meters, uh, the meter, panel meter, is really important because as you graduate to bigger and more powerful pieces of equipment, 
the chance of causing distortion and, and interference to others uh, grows. So I don't want to belabor the point. I'm going to film these meters. I'm going to move the tripod around. I'll narrate over that what I'm doing. And basically, I'm just going to, I'm going to count like and give my call sign. Uh, I'm going to do steady carrier. I'm going to put the transceiver in the FM mode, key it. And then I'm going to talk into the microphone in the SSB mode. And we'll look at the difference. And it, it's really pretty surprising. There are going to be times when you think you have no output. And if you're looking at an analog meter, when in fact you have a lot of output. All right. See you in a minute. I'm going to put the tripod over here and do some tests. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, test, hello. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, test, hello. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hello. One, two, three, four, five. Whiskey six Lima Golf. One, two, three, four, five. Belly a six LG test. Ella test, Ella. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, test, Ella. One, two, three, four, five. W six L G. One, two, three, four, five. W six L G test. One, two, three, four, five. 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 At the end of that video, um, I was videoing the play current meter on a linear amplifier, and the play current meter, I didn't say it in the video, um, was indicating about one-third of the total peak play current. So again, an analog meter in the SSB mode doesn't have a lot of value because it can't keep up with the changes, the swings in voltage or current. So having a peak reading uh, watt meter is a really good thing and will give you a better feel for what the output is. So analog meters and SSB, not a lot of value. Um, in CW, uh, key down or in the FM mode, it's great because it, you can you got a steady state and you can read the meter. If you have a question, please post it below. If you have an answer to a question, please uh, go ahead and do that. I've had some really great answers from some guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I hope you will. I've got a couple of videos in the works right now and hope to have those out in the next few days. I'm Jim W6LG for Hammer Radio Basics. Thanks for joining me and see you the next time.